Three mountains. They were important then. They are important now. The first of those mountains is the Mount of Transfiguration. Jesus had taken with him his inner circle of disciples, Peter, James, and John, and they had climbed this mountain, and there atop that mountain, Jesus was transfigured before them, meaning they got to see his full glory. This was a first for Peter, James, and John. They, they trusted that Jesus was God. They had seen glimpses of that in his miracles. They believed that he was God. After all, he preached that way. Um, yet they had never seen it fully. And now, with their own eyes, they saw Jesus transformed before him, and they saw his full glory with Moses and Elijah on his left and on his right. This was an amazing day for Peter, James, and John, one that was recorded for us and one that Peter later recalled in his letter to scattered Christians around Asia Minor. That's mountain number one. Mountain number two is Mount Calvary. It often referred to as Golgotha or the place of the skull. This is where Jesus died on the cross, but where the, the Roman executioners put him on that cross and lifted him high and those who wished him dead were standing there watching on and in, in, in delight and those who loved Jesus looked on in sadness where Jesus sacrificed himself for the sins of the entire world on Mount Calvary that's the second mountain the third mountain is Mount Olives the Mount of Olives on this mountain, Jesus ascended into heaven with the disciples present. Jesus ascended and was hidden from their view by clouds. Jesus assumed his position of authority at the right hand of God. He assumed the authority that came with his deity as the Son of God. Three mountains. All of them are important, then and now. The Mount of Transfiguration was important for the disciples because they got to see his true glory. And after this, after they came down from the mountain, Jesus' next step in his ministry was to head towards Jerusalem where he would suffer and die, where, where things would get very chaotic. And the disciples perhaps would be thrown into some sort of, of confusion but they would have this picture on the Mount of Transfiguration to hold on to. That when Jesus is suffering and dying, they would know that, that he truly is God. And they should trust that he is in control of all things. In fact, as they came down from the, the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus told Peter, James, and John not to tell anybody about that until after he had risen from the dead. He was giving them a little glimpse. I'm going to rise from the dead, you guys. Hold on to this. That was important for them now, or then. It's important for us now, too. The Mount of Transfiguration is, is a great reminder that God has promised to be with us, too. And, and that He is truly God. And so these things that, that we have in our life, like, say, the, the Word of God, and baptism and, and the Lord's Supper, they, they don't look glamorous to us. They, they, they don't look like we're receiving much glory. But if you could see what was actually happening when the Word of God is, is preached, if you could see what was actually happening as someone is baptized or as you are taking the Lord's Supper, you would see the true glory of God hidden in these simple means of grace. We need that strengthening. We need the strengthening to know that, that God, that Jesus is true God so that we can truly look for glory where he has promised glory to be in this life and trust that one day, because of the means of grace and because the Holy Spirit has created faith in our hearts, we will see his true glory because of what he has done. We need the second mountain today too. Uh, it, it's impossible to overstate just how important Mount Calvary was for our salvation. Jesus needed to die on the cross to take our punishment 
and, and to wash away all of our sins so, so that we would be saved. That has lasting effects. Jesus does not have to die on the cross again, but he died once and for all. And because he did, you are saved. No one can go back and take Jesus off the cross for you. Uh, Mount Calvary, important then, important now. The Mount of Olives, also very important for us now. Because our Savior who was transfigured on the Mount of Transfiguration, showing that he is truly God, with the Father's testimony to back it up. Jesus, who is on Mount Calvary, who died on the cross just like he said he, he would, has now been glorified. He has now been victorious. His ascension into heaven, his uh, resumption of the throne, is a, a symbol to us that he was victorious. When he died and when he rose, he completed the work that God had laid out for him to do. And he ascends into heaven as a sign of his victory over sin, death, and the devil. Three mountains. All of them are important. And they were important then, and they are important now. This coming Sunday, we will celebrate uh, the, the Transfiguration Sunday as we'll look at what happened on that Mount of Transfiguration. But we'll do that with the other two mountains in view as well. Praise God for his word that he shows us uh, the importance of those mountains then and the importance of them now.